Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, MVJ Reacts. We're going to do a reaction to Samson. Song's called What About Us? So let's jump into it. Don't tread on me. Those are words that I stand by, homie. It doesn't mean I'm gangster. It doesn't mean I'm country. It means that my life is in my hands only. I don't have money for security. I don't have armed guards that I keep snug around me. You don't think I deserve protection like you do, and that means you don't give a fuck about me. Gated community, that's what you live in. Hatred and mutiny, that's what we live in. So come down here and hang with us for a minute. See if you leave with the same fucking opinion. Who's gonna help me out if I get robbed? What if somebody were to beat up my mother? Who's gonna be there to save our lives? You? Nah, me, motherfucker. I'm the only one that's got my back. It's dog eat dog, these are not no cats There's cops in Michigan that can't even respond to the calls Cause their cars ain't got no gas Great, police don't have any fuel You don't know if they'll arrive when you call them The babies are starving, my girlfriend can't find a tampon And yet somehow you and I are the problem somehow. I've never brought a gun without having my background scanned and approved The only loophole I've seen on a gun is the one that you put a fucking lanyard through It's not true that you can go to the store and just swipe your card and get a Glock and run It's funny, the people that say that shit have literally never even shot one Dumbass Hey man Matthew McConaughey Shut the fuck up Just cause you've murdered people on screen Doesn't mean you know shit about guns You dumb fuck What? You worried about us? What about all of those violent movies that you played? How about you go talk to Alec Baldwin Before you start telling me what to do, okay? Damn <laughs> Damn He had to bring up Alec Baldwin Damn God, that was a fucked up situation with what happened uh, on that movie set. And he has only himself to blame, man. He has only himself to blame. He should have. Well, I'm not going to get into it. Uh, just to say, it, it's, it's a sad situation that happened. And hopefully justice will get served. What I like all about, the, well, one, I like that he, he was holding the gun in the proper way. Never put your hand on the trigger unless you plan on shooting it. That was a good thing. Uh, he's pumping out facts, people. It's the God's honest truth, right? Police cannot be there until after the crime has occurred. You have only yourself to defend yourself, you know. Right. You Valdi? I was horrified by it That's your hometown, you were born right by it It probably cuts deep and I hope that it does Cause you work in an industry that glorifies violence It's more your fault than it will ever be mine Lord only knows how many crimes that you've influenced Throughout your whole career Cause I've seen you kill people plenty of times yep. What do you think is gonna cause a shooting? A YouTube video of a gun review? Or a Hollywood murder scene that seems so realistic It looks like it's from the news So next time that you wanna point your finger with a stupid opinion And chime in with it Remember, it ain't me that they're trying to be like dog It's you that they're trying trying to mimic I, I do want to say this one thing though there is something really wrong uh, I don't really necessarily believe that seeing killing on, in movies is the problem is it too too realistically looking yes do I wish that they tone it down some I do I don't like seeing um film or videos of showing somebody like shooting somebody in the head and you're seeing the brain matter shoot I don't like that I don't think it's necessary in a way I think it should be like it had once was where you don't see the blood you just or you if you do you see like on the shirt after the fact but not to be so um, graphic you know um and the only reason like I said I have a I don't necessarily think it's the what people see that is causing this uh, chaos in the country is because in like in Japan their uh, animation anime films very detailed very graphic but yet it's one of the most civilized countries that I've ever been to. I was there for two years. I have only saw one fight between two um, Japanese men. 
outside of that, it's a very safe country. But yet they have a lot of graphic violence in their cartoons. So I, I don't know. I don't know what the problem is, except maybe we're not um, emphasizing the importance of life and that to appreciate life and to care for one another. I, I mean, I, I'm just throwing out ideas. I don't know. I really don't know this, the answer. But I do know it's not necessarily seeing uh, violence because, like, so the only thing I can say is tone down the how graphic the violence is. That's about it. But yeah, he makes a point. You know, he's you know this guy's making movies showing killings, but yet. He's going to sit there and tell us, you know, that's not the solution. All right. I'll get off my soap opera. So, so. I feel way more safe in a place where the people are legally armed. If something happens like a mass shooting, I have a way less chance of being lethally harmed. The criminal is going to think twice if he knows everybody is a piece underneath their clothes. And Mayor Lightfoot will probably tell you different, but <laughs> have you seen Chicago? And no, before you ask, I don't want to be like Canada either. And I don't want to be like Australia. I'm sick of everybody using them as a humanity meter. There's a reason that they can do whatever they want to their citizens, like fucking throw them in camps. And there's a reason that our government doesn't even try that shit because they know that they can't if you don't think for one split second that if we didn't have our second amendment the government wouldn't overstep its boundaries and make us do shit even when we're against it you're out of your mind i don't give a damn where you stand or how or what you vote that's dandy and fine if you trust uncle sam but i for one fucking don't and why would i what have they done give me a reason for me to believe them they want to trade me a little security in exchange for a big ass piece of my freedom they don't want to take away guns because they care about you and they want to keep you safe at night they want to take away guns because it's easy to control people if they don't have any way to fight hey buddy what's your little ar-15 gonna do with the government comes to take it well ukraine started handing out rifles to all of the citizens when the russians invaded so what about that i thought it wouldn't help i guarantee that it'd be better than nothing i hope it never does but if the day comes i bet that you're gonna wish that you had something this is the only country on earth where the people have real strength true very very true it's like they're okay with other people having guns but they don't, our government doesn't want us to have our own guns weird right this guy's preaching facts people he really is and nowadays with all the shit going on it's the only thing that makes me feel safe if there's anything that i've learned in the past couple years looking back at the pandemic all of the shit that we have is fragile and it could snap at any second Fuck all of the politicians. I don't trust anything they say. Take the word gun out of gun control and that's all that it is at the end of the day. I don't give a fuck how crazy you think that I look or I sound when I say this shit. But our second amendment's the only thing that stands between us and a dictatorship. And as for the kids, I'm not a security expert, so I won't act like one. But I think... That if we can send over fifty billion dollars to Ukraine, we could surely spend that much, or more, or less, here in our own country to fortify our schools and make them more secure, so that every kid can get an education safe and sound. Place several trained armed guards in every school across America. You know, real men who won't stand by for forty-five minutes in the hallway while a shooting unfolds in front of their own eyes. And pay them well, too. There's veterans that need the work. Why not protect our kids the same way that we protect you? Politicians are protected by guns. Celebrities are protected by guns. Every important person that walks this earth is protected by a gun. But our kids? They're important. Just not as much as you. True. Very, very true. It's not one thing he said that I don't agree with. Like I said, except for the... I just wish that they toned down the how graphic the killing is shown in the movies. Um, but otherwise, oh yeah. And it's funny, when I was a kid... I used to be like that, you know, there should be no guns. 
and then in the perfect world that would be. But the reality is, you don't get a gun, but the uh, bad guy, he's going to have a gun. That's why he's a bad guy, because he doesn't follow the law. It's really ass, man, and I really do believe that if a person goes into somewhere and knows the person might have a gun, and then he, or he could go into a place that he knows that they're not supposed to have a gun, which place do you think he's going to go to? It doesn't take a rock science to figure it out. Obviously, he's going to go where you're not supposed to have a gun. That's where he has he has the advantage over someone else. Whereas if he goes somewhere where there might be guns, he might be a little cautious because the, the playing ground is equal. But I don't know why these people don't see that, except the ones that are preaching it are ones that have uh, live in a fantasy world, are um, have their own private security or live in, like I said, in a gated community. They're okay. Because I remember, what's her name? Um, O'Donnell, I forgot her first name, but O'Donnell, comedian there, lady. She was all against gun control, or all against guns, right? She even gave Tom Selleck a hard time about it. And thankfully, she got backlash about it because a lot of people love Tom Selleck. But she was such a hypocrite because she had her own private bodyguard who got a gun to protect her child and her. But yet she's trying to tell everybody else, you should not have guns. Just like the, the empty vessel we have in the White House right now. He's all about getting rid of guns. He's sitting there saying, you don't need an AR-15, you don't need this. Oh, okay, so you, Mr. President, tell the Secret Service to not guard you and tell them not to have an Uzi or an AR-15 on their bodies. You know, since nobody needs it, right? I bet you're not going to do that, are you? Anyways, uh, I like this song. And, I, and he, like I said, he makes great points. I hope you guys, and if you, any of you got are offended by this, you know, again, there's other channels you can watch. It's just my personal opinion. And that's about it. You guys have a wonderful day or night. Take care. Bye.